I made a bow from a peg style clothespin from my GI Jane. I made a couple of these uh, bows out of peg style clothespins before, uh, way back in the past. Uh, most recently, I made this one, and uh, my last project was this crossbow I made from a peg style clothespin. For this project, I used a large peg style clothespin. I cut off one of the limbs of the clothespin uh, close to the body of it, and the other one I left a little tab after cutting it off. These will be where the bow arms go. I sketched out a handle on the clothespin and started carving it out. I could have used my Dremel, kind of like doing things by hand. After a lot of carving and sanding, I got the handle to shape. The round part near my thumb will be the bottom of the bow. I'm making this bow for my Savage Swap G.I. Jane. It fits in her hand really well, and it still has plenty of room. I drilled holes at the top and the bottom of the handle. This will be where the metal arms to the bow uh, inserts. I used super glue to hold the metal bow arms in place. I added a small bend at the top of the bow arms, but I didn't realize that I made a mistake here. You probably can't see it, but I sure can. I used my Dremel to cut out slots for the bowstring. Now time to make the arrow rest. I cut a small piece of wood from a popsicle stick and glued it into place. Then I sanded it and carved it into shape. When making the string, I found my mistake. I have the bow strung backwards. So I had to create another string and rebend the top of the bow arms all-purpose sealer. This helps the paint uh, go onto the wood really smooth and doesn't let the paint soak into the wood. I painted the body of the bow with the with black acrylic paint. Moving on to the arrows, small file to create to create the knocks in the arrows. After carving the tips into shape, I used a silver sharpie to paint the tips and the knocks. I colored the shaft of the arrows with my black sharpie. I made several of these arrows. I think I have about 10. I decided to make my fletchings out of cardstock this time, covered with clear uh, packing tape. I wanted all the fletchings to be the same shape, so I created a small template and glued it to a toothpick so it'd be easier to hold while I trace around it. I cut out the fletchings and super glued them to the arrows. I kind of eyeballed the placement of the fletchings. I think I did a pretty good job. I really like how they turned out. I wanted to make her a bandolier similar to Khan's. I used some cardstock to create a pattern. This will be a quiver, a bow holder, and a holster for a small pistol. After transferring the pattern to leather, I cut out the leather and started stitching it together. I like to use alligator clamps to hold my leather together while I stitch it together. For the quiver, since the arrows are not very small, I used a small hole punch to create uh, holes for my stitching. This turned out really good. I like this process. Well, it's finished. I'm pretty proud of what I've accomplished. <clears throat> she turned out pretty, pretty good, I think, at least. I really like how her bandolier turned out. I think her overall character is uh, the one I'm really going for. So let's take a closer look at her. I think her bandolier turned out really good. I like the way it, uh, the way it sits on her shoulder. I like her, the way her backpack turned out. Her bow holder. This first time I create made a, a bow holder, even though it sticks a, a little bit above her her head, doesn't quite kind of sticks way up there. But you know, I'm pretty sure she knows how to be careful hiking around. 
The quiver turned out pretty good. Holds all the arrows. Take a closer look at those arrows. I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, uh, tape and cardstock arrows or fletchings that I went with. The super glue left a little bit of residue on some of these fletchings. But that's okay, I suppose. Then she has her quiver for her uh, crossbow bolts, and of course her blade. This was a fun project to work on. I really enjoyed it. I made about two of these uh, bows before, so this is my third one. I really like using this uh, spring steel. I find these on parking lots, and I believe they're... Um, from windshield wipers and and they're very springy I'll use these for uh, sometimes my my blades and stuff Let's check out how she holds it so this is the uh, the GI Joe from the uh, Savage Swamp set and she actually has a uh, Kung Fu grip hands so she grips this bow really good. But the problem is that uh, her uh, joints are not strong enough to hold the bow back in in the um, proper position. Once I get her posed that way, the uh, string wants to pull her arms forward. But I have a solution for this. Check it out. It's all in getting our hand in the right position. But what I did is I made this little stick that holds the uh, string back. And so when I put the arrow up there, the arrow actually covers the string and makes it look like she's uh, pulling the bow back into the uh, full draw length, which I think turned out pretty cool. And this little stick thing, I could always put it in the the quiver. You'd hardly notice it. I enjoy making these little bows out of the, uh, the peg style clothespins. I think they turn out really neat. Very uh, you get a different looking type crossbow or a different type of bow. And you know they're really not hard to make. So if you're interested in me, uh, interested in one of these bows and arrows, I can even make a leather quiver. Um, drop a comment below, and I'll sell one to you. What she's missing is like a forearm guard to keep the string from um, slapping against her her forearm. I've shot bows before without a, uh, a forearm protector, and it really leaves a mark. Anyways, I think her uh, character's coming together pretty well. Uh, you'll probably see her in future uh, photo stories. I usually occasionally drop photo stories on my Instagram account. You can check it out. Uh, you can check it out there. Leave a link for my Instagram account in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking out this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Follow me on social media. Want to help support this channel? Become a Patreon member. Until next time, don't forget to collect, inspire, and create.